We got any dreamers out there? We got anybody that loves to dream? We got anybody who's got some shattered dreams? Got anybody who is discouraged? You feel like in the midst of the crisis, you can't dream? Like I believe in the midst of a crisis is the time to dream. I believe in the midst of a bad circumstance in your life is the time to look up. It's the time to think higher. It's the time to look to God. It's the time to look at the stars. It's, God told Abraham when Abraham didn't have a child and God promised him a child and he said, Abraham, get out of the house and go outside in the dark and look at the stars and count them. If, you, if you're able, that's how many kids I'm going to give you. He said, go count the stars. Like you can only, and it was dark. And the reason is, is because you can only see stars when it's dark. Like when you're going through a dark time, there's beauty in the darkness there's silence in the darkness. There's calm in the darkness. In other words, when darkness hits you, when a bad situation hits you, that's the time to, to look up and to see the light of God's promises, the light of God's love, the light of God's goodness in your life. So, so when, you, when you have a dream, God gave Joseph a dream in the Bible and then what happens is whenever we have a dream, there's something that comes along in our lives called dream thieves. There's dream thieves. There's, there's thieves that try to steal our dreams. Um, and it says in Psalm 105, verse 19, I'll read it to you from the New Living Translation. It says, until the time came to fulfill his dreams, the Lord tested Joseph's character. Woo. Oh man, look out. Oh, you thought, I thought it was going to be fun and laughter, but now we're, now we're on your character. We're on to your character and mine. Listen to how God does things. It says until the time came to fulfill his dreams, the Lord tested Joseph's character. When your dream is being delayed, it's a test of your character. When something you're hoping for and something you're believing for and something great that you want to see happen in your life when it's being delayed that's not the time to to think god's denying it it's the time to work on your character it's the time to let god in your attitude it's time to let it's it's the time to learn endurance it's the time to learn patience it's the time to learn how to trust it's the time to learn so i want to encourage everybody who's watching right now it's time to dream again. You say, well, all these businesses are shut down. Well, maybe it's time for you to dream about a business to open up. Maybe it's time for you to dream if you've been hurt in relationships. Dream of a life of happiness without needing a relationship. Then when you're happy and healthy, you become a magnet to the healthy relationships. You become a magnet to the right relationships. Sometimes a person disappointing you and letting you down is the best thing that ever happened to you because it forces you to trust God. It forces you to take people off the pedestal. It forces you to, to stop idolizing people and start believing in yourself. I'm fully convinced that when people disappoint you and let you down, that's the best opportunity to shout hallelujah, <laughs> okay? Because, you know, if you take the word disappointment and you change the first letter from D to H, you have his appointment. From disappointment to his appointment. In other words, whenever somebody disappoints you, God wants to appoint you. And God wants to give you a divine appointment. And God wants to give you um, a new dream and something new to believe. 